OKEANOS Oversize Kite Craft for Exploration and Astronautics in the Outer Solar System is a proposed mission concept to Trojan asteroids, which share Jupiter's orbit, using a hybrid solar sail for propulsion. The sail is covered with thin solar panels to power an ion engine. In situ analysis of the collected samples would be performed by either direct contact or using a lander carrying a high resolution mass spectrometer. A sample return to Earth is an option under study. OKEANOS is a finalist for Japan's ISAS, second large class mission to be launched in 2026 and possibly return Trojan asteroid samples to Earth in the 2050s. Topic overview The OKEANOS mission is a concept first proposed in 2010 to fly together with the Jupiter Magnetospheric Orbiter JMO as part of the cancelled Europa Jupiter System mission, Laplace. In its latest formulation, the OKEANOS mission and Leetbird are the two finalists of Japan's large mission class by the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology. LeetBird is a proposed cosmic microwave background astronomy telescope. Analyzing the composition of the Jupiter Trojans may help scientists understand how the Solar System was formed. It would also help determine which of the competing hypotheses is right remnant planetesimals during the formation of Jupiter, or fossils of building blocks of Jupiter, or captured trans Neptunian objects by planetary migration. The latest proposal includes a lander to perform in situ analyses. There are several options for this mission, and the most ambitious one proposes to retrieve and send samples to Earth for extensive investigations. If selected in March 2019 for development, the spacecraft would launch in 2026, and may offer some synergy with Lucy spacecraft that will fly be multiple Jupiter Trojans in 2027. <laughs> spacecraft. The spacecraft is projected to have a mass of about 1,285 kg if it includes a lander and in any instance it would be equipped with solar electric ion engines. The 1,600 m2 sail would have a dual purpose of solar sail propulsion and solar panel for power generation. If a lander is included, it must have a mass no larger than 100 kg and it would collect and analyze asteroids samples. A more complex suggested concept would have the lander take off again, rendezvous with the mothership and transfer the samples for their transport to Earth. <laughs> solar sail and solar panels The unique sail is a hybrid that provides both photon propulsion and electric power, that JAXA calls solar power sail. The sail is made of a 10 micrometers thick polyamide film measuring 40 times 40 meters, 1600 square meters, and it is also covered with 30,000 solar panels 25 micrometers thick capable of generating up to 5 kilowatts at Jupiter, which is 5.2 astronomical units from the sun. The main spacecraft would be located at the center of the sail and it would be equipped with a solar electric ion engine for maneuvering and propulsion, especially for a possible sample return trip to Earth. The spacecraft uses solar sail technology initially developed for the successful Icarus interplanetary kite craft accelerated by radiation of the sun that launched in 2010, whose solar sail was 14 meters times 14 meters in size. As with the Icarus, the solar angle of the sail will be changed by dynamically controlling the reflectivity of liquid crystal displays LCD on the outer edge of the sail so that the sunlight pressure would produce torque to change its orientation. <laughs> Ion engine The ion engine intended for the mission is called Mu-10HISP and its specific impulse is 10,000 seconds, power of 2.5 kW, and a maximum thrust magnitude of 27 mN for each of the four engines. The electric engine system is an improved version of the engine from the Hayabusa mission, and it would be used for maneuvering, and especially for an optional sample return trip to Earth. A preliminary study indicates the need for 191 kg of xenon propellant if it is decided to bring a sample back to Earth. <laughs> Lander The mission concept is still in development and several scenarios, targets, and architecture are being assessed. The most ambitious scenario contemplates in situ analysis and a Sample return using a lander. 
This lander concept is a collaboration among the German Aerospace Center (DLR) and Japan's JAXA, started in 2014. The spacecraft would deploy a 100 kg lander on the surface of a 20 to 30 km Trojan asteroid to analyze its subsurface volatile constituents, such as water ice, using a 1 m pneumatic drill powered by pressurized nitrogen gas. Some subsurface samples would be transferred to the onboard mass spectrometer for volatile analysis. The lander's scientific payload mass, including the sampling system, would not exceed 20 kg. The lander would be powered by batteries and perform an autonomous descent, landing, sampling and analysis. Some samples would be heated up to 1000 degrees Celsius for pyrolysis for isotopic analysis. The conceptual payload for the lander would include a panoramic camera visible and infrared, infrared microscope, Raman spectrometer, a magnetometer, and a thermal radiometer. The lander would operate for about 20 hours using battery power. If a sample return is decided, the lander would then take off, rendezvous and deliver the surface and subsurface samples to the mothership hovering above at 50 kilometers for subsequent delivery to Earth within a re-entry capsule. The lander would be discarded after the sample transfer. Topic: <laughs> Conceptual scientific payload On the lander Mass spectrometer Hyperspectral microscope Hyperspectral panoramic imager Optical navigation camera Laser rangefinder Fluxgate 3-axis magnetometer Alpha particle X-ray spectrometer Surface and subsurface sample on the spacecraft Exozodiacal Infrared Telescope is a 10 cm diameter telescope. Gamma ray burst polarimeter GAP2. Monostatic radar to image the body's internal structure as attached to the sail. Arrayed Large Area Dust Detectors ALDN2. Magnetic Field Experiment MGF2 is a flux gate MAGNETOMETERGAP2 and EXZIT are instruments for astronomical observations, and are not intended to be used for studying Trojan asteroids. The two will conduct opportunistic surveys that will take advantage of the mission's trajectory. For GAP-2, the maximum 5.2 astronomical units distance from Earth makes it possible to locate the position of gamma-ray bursts with high precision by pairing it with terrestrial observatories. For EXZIT, as zodiacal light gets significantly weak beyond the asteroid belt, it enables the telescope to observe the cosmic infrared background for uncovering the comic dawn. MGF-2 is a successor of the MGF on board the Aris satellite, and Aladdin-2, GAP-2 are successors of the respective instruments on board Icaros. <laughs> See also CubeSail, a small English solar sail concept under development Icaros, the first spacecraft to demonstrate solar sail technology in interplanetary space LightSail 2, a private solar sail project of the Planetary Society NanoSail D2, a U.S. solar sail deployed in LEO in January 2011 Near-Earth Asteroid Scout, a planned CubeSat to an asteroid approximately one astronomical unit from Earth Lunar Flashlight, a planned solar sail orbiter to the Moon